All right, everybody. So for today, we're going to be taking a close look at the 2023 BMW M2. Now, this is personally one of my favorite cars of all time that I have ever driven. And why it's so special to me is just, it is the perfect combination between driver and car. It so perfectly is able to blend those two together to make you just feel like you're just one with the machine, like unlike anything I've ever driven before. You know, a lot of cars, they have big V8 engines, they're supercharged, they make 700 plus horsepower, 600 plus horsepower, which is fantastic and fun, of course, in its own regard, but it's still, it's a lot. You know, there, there's a lot of car there, it's very heavy. Uh, it's not quick and nimble to run around a track. Of course, you know, you can go faster on a track, obviously, uh, but you can still feel the weight. You can still feel just how heavy it is. And that's something that the M2 takes away because it is still this light, nimble, fun sports car. And it's really just provides just the ultimate thrilling driving experience. And there's just so much technology packed into it now. Unlike ever before, as you probably just saw there in the infotainment screens, all the different combinations that you can go through to really customize the driving experience to what you want. Uh, man, it's just, it's obviously super fun. now. What we're looking at here is an inline six cylinder engine. Uh, it has a manual gearbox available, and it's rear wheel drive, and uh, it really, again, this is, is the ultimate driver's car. Now, the new M2 is 4.1 inches longer, 1.3 inches wider, and 0.3 inches lower than the previous generation, and it has a 108.1 uh, inch wheelbase. Um, that you know really just allows this car to just remain super nimble on the track. Now, obviously, the car has been fully redesigned for this second generation, and I think it really keeps it nice and clean and simple. I really like that out the new M2. It really is keeping in mind the heritage of the styling of this vehicle. They're not going too crazy, too off track. Uh, with it, and I think that you know is really uh, expressed here in this next generation. Um, you know the new, the front of the new M2 here is really dominated by that wide, frameless BMW signature twin kidney grille uh, with prominent horizontal elements, and then of course we have the M typical three section lower air intakes below that have a rectangular contours to them to really help optimize the cooling of the powertrain components and brakes. Now in terms of the headlights. They are positioned on the outer edges of the front fascia and have a single circular headlight using a full LED technology, of course, for both low and high beams. The daytime driving light takes form of a U-shaped light arrangement at the lower edges of the headlight, which also function as the turn signal. So some cool lighting element effects to that. I think it's always neat when you see a car coming down the road and it has its nice LED daytime running lights, and then it flips on the turn signal and it changes uh, into that, that orange, that different color, of course. It looks pretty nifty how it changes. It has really wide muscular wheel arches, and then there's also an optional carbon fiber roof to really further emphasize the car's sporty character. The rear end of the M2 is defined by pronounced horizontal surfaces, vertically arranged reflectors, which are set deep into the outer edges of the rear apron, and a rear spoiler lip designed to generate additional downforce at the rear axle. Now, the most striking element of the rear is the pronounced diffuser insert with signature M quad tailpipes. So this car is going to sound absolutely phenomenal. And of course we want uh, to also look the part there with those quad tailpipes. It looks really, really cool. Now under the hood, which is obviously a super important aspect of this car, we're looking at a M twin power turbo six cylinder engine that delivers 400 and 53 horsepower at 6,250 RPMs and a peak torque of 406 pound foot uh, produced between 2,650 and 5,870 RPMs that is paired with either a six speed manual gearbox or the dynamic eight speed M Steptronic transmission with drive logic. And the engine's power is fed to the road through the rear wheels providing you know, that traditional driving experience that is also enhanced by the latest M twin power turbo technology. The new M2 is fitted 
uh, where again with the six speed manual, you can hit zero to 60 in just 4.1 seconds with the right driver. And of course the M eight speed Steptronic transmission is gonna trim that down to just 3.9 seconds. And obviously there's you know really just that perfect combination choice between you know, if you wanna go for the automatic transmission or the manual transmission you can choose, which is fantastic that they're still bringing the manual here for the enthusiasts. Now, in terms of the, the eight speed, I'm sure it's going to be phenomenal, especially with that, you know, the manual shifting mode, you guys can go ahead and throw it in and, and shift as needed as wanted. So you really can get, you know, the best of both worlds there. It's not as pure, of course, as driving a six speed manual, the classic six speed, but it will still, you know, provide razor quick shift points. I'm, I'm sure it'll be just absolutely phenomenal. And now it's always just fun to look under the hood there and uh, to see you know, a brand new engine, uh, part of the M2, and just, you know, it's setting back there beautifully. And of course you can see there, we have a stabilizer bar there to keep everything, you know, anchored down when we're doing those, you know, high speed laps. And this car, you know, it's a track car. It is, you know, it's ready to hit the track and, uh, you know, provide maximum performance at all time. Uh, it's an M car, it's your M car. Love the side profile. I like how they kept it really clean. My favorite new addition to the exterior styling has to be just that the door handles there, how they are flush with the body. Love that. I think that really just adds a nice crisp feel uh, to the exterior. And you know, it's really spacious as well um, for, for being you know a super small sporty car very spacious more spacious on the inside i think than the exterior lets on when you look at it from the outside you know it looks you know very very sporty and very compact um, but it does also have these larger proportions again like the flared wheel arches the long door and things like that that really do you know in my opinion uh, let this car um, kind of out of the box in terms of letting people know how sporty it is. It also has, you know, a pretty predominant hood. I like how they've, they've uh, put those rear lights pretty far back uh, into the body panels there on the side. The interior, super cool. Um, this is the six-speed manual we're looking at here. Really, really incredible technology on the inside. We have two full screens. We have the multimedia system and the driver's display. These seats are the M Sport seats really great for racing, pretty comfortable, um, depending, you know, on how long you're sitting in them for, you know, they're pretty comfortable. We'll, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. They're great for racing. They're pretty comfortable. And as long as you know, you're the right size for them. They're really comfortable. Um, not a problem. It really helps keep you in place, but notice a beautiful interior and you know, we have just that classic, classic three spoke steering wheel fully configurable uh, system there. So we have some save, uh, we can save the M settings that we set up there, quickly recall them from some buttons on the steering wheel. Six speed right there, beautiful, just sitting there in the center. Carbon fiber accenting, of course, black jet leather. You know, really, again, just look at these, looking at these seats, these sport bucket seats really are a work of art. They also have the M2 emblem there, just below the headrest, which is lit up, backlit LED, looks really cool. In the door panel there, below the door handle, we also have you know, the M Racing Colors accents there. Once again, you know we're seeing the steering wheel, standard BMW steering wheel that you'll see in the other models that do the three spoke, uh, M, M Sport or uh, M model of course. But yeah, guys, just you know a wonderfully designed interior, a beautiful machine, and really just a track monster, ready you know to, to get you know ready to just take you on the thrilling, a really thrilling driving experience. And again, you know what I love about the M2 is just how well it harnesses you know its power and really lets you feel one with the road. Well, that's all we have for you today in our news segment here on the all new BMW M2. Please feel free to drop comments in the comment section below. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, I'm Kyle from Unboxed Autos.